Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comments. We got another video for you folks. And we got the biggest showdown of this upcoming week, week two. And this will be a week game, right? Way game, right? So I'm not going to lie. You're the Ravens, man. Y'all stay locked in. Keep winning these games. Then it was week two. The offense wasn't looking like too much there yet. But I definitely see potential with this Ravens offense. So they know how I start with the offense, but I know the defense. So the offense, the offense, the offense. Now the Ravens. Now you know you cannot come in the stadium real calm because the, the Bengals just suffered a terrible, a terrible upset law against the uh, Cleveland Browns. So Ravens, y'all go in and do your thing, run the ball. I know we got pieces like uh, Linda Baum. He's pr pretty okay. I'm glad he'd be good to go for the offensive line. We're going to definitely need him in that offensive line side of the football field. I don't care what nobody say, who you are, what you think, but I really think that it needs to be a difference when it comes to that, um, coming to this game because it's going to be a serious one right here. And not to mention that Joe Burrow looking to bounce back from an upset and loss, one of the most terrible uh, career stats. This guy had 82 yards. He ain't barely had 100 yards. Now, um, and a wide receiver. I can see Odell Beckham Jr. stepping up. You know, I think he's trying to get the field for the offense, but he's there and he got it. So I can see him, uh, you know, doing him and come out the cut and uh, making plays happen. And Rashad Bateman. Man, you got to get some yards out there. I know that, um, you know, you got to, you know, catch the ball at a certain time. But so I, got, I like where you at with it, you know. But I want to see Rashad do, do more bigger and better things when it comes to the wide receiver. And uh, Zay Flowers. Zay, Zay Flowers had a great uh, debut uh, season opener. It was great. I love everything he brought to the table as a player. So looking forward to do what he got to do his best. So keep giving Zay Flowers that ball, man. He's looking very awesome. And unfortunately, uh, J.K. Dallas towards Achilles. So... He also will be out for the season and everything else. So we don't need these injuries at all, man. We just don't need them. And Ronnie Stanley, he also has, like, an ankle injury. So he should be fine. Get those guys a couple weeks to break, you know, and uh, they should be bounced back. We need this offense to click. We don't need – we can't afford any uh, – we can't afford any uh, any injuries out there in the NFL. So Ravens got it. We can't let this pressure get to us. Like I said, if you're the offense, you got to put up some points against this uh, – Cincinnati Denver's uh Cincinnati uh Bengals uh team so it's gonna be looking scary so we gotta stay calm and very collective and uh the defense the defense the defense the defense now the front seven y'all did a great job last week it, it, I think the defense did a great job especially the second half you know keeping the, the Texans uh running back under control keeping it to the quarterback was a stout so uh I love what the rate the uh, defense has done so far and looking forward and bigger better things heading into this week so we want to keep Joe Barrow under 100 yards. Keep letting him uh, run himself to the ground because I know he's coming off a calf injury. So, you know, the Ravens' defense, when they get out there, they're going to play physical. They're going to play hard. They're going to do what they got to do, man. The Ravens not playing around at all. Um, I definitely um, hope, hope for bigger and better things when it comes to the offensive side of the football field, the defense side of the football field, especially in that front side, getting to that quarterback each and every time. And, um, and, uh, and shout out to uh, Javion Clowney as well. Javion Clowney had a, such a great game. How we get to the quarterback, and uh, I just love where it's at. You know, the, all the pieces on the put it together, especially with the two dynamic duo uh, linebackers with Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. Those guys uh, combined for double uh, double digit tackles, over 15, 12 tackles. So that's great. It's great to see that and head into the season. So it's been way, way more big and better things with defense. So get Joe Barrow to the ground, man. I'm tired of keep seeing this guy shine. And uh, in the secondary, uh, Marcus Williams has went down with an injury. I know. But luckily, I don't think it's he's an injury at all, so he's going to be out for a little while. So, luckily, he signed another safety, free safety, so he's going to be good on the defense side of football. But we got to, got to get better at that man to man coverage. I don't care what nobody say, man. Get, get, get better at that man to man coverage. Come on, second day. Don't let Jamar Chase do his thing. Don't let Ross do his thing. Don't let these guys do whatever you want to do, man. Shut these guys down. Keep like, making the no fly zone. This, all of this, this, deep, this second day, I got to keep that same energy. You guys got to step up out there, man. We can't. We, I'm tired of keeping y'all getting burned up in that man, 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 man coverage. Every time I watch the game, you don't know what can happen next. It's too many injuries on the secondary. It's too many injuries on the all-side football line field. The Ravens need a break, man. I'm just, I just think that, you know, I don't think we curse with injuries. It's just weird that we can keep on, we keep on these injuries. I know football is a physical football game. Football is a physical sport type of uh, game, so you really can't say, oh, like, things happen but it is what it is um they got to bounce back and uh keep this rolling they got to keep this rolling um 
keep, like I said, keep Jamar Chase old under 30 yards. He can't get nothing, man. Make sure that guy don't get nothing. No fly zone. So you know to be handling y'all business, man. But uh, I got the gang being like a good close game. It's going to be like 27 to 3. It's going to definitely be a close game. I don't see it being the Ravens blowing out, get what they want, and make sure we don't get, make sure we get the Bengals whatever they want. So I'm, that's where I see this week two matchup against this AFC North division. But anyway, that's all I got to say. It's my uh, week two prediction. Y'all stay, y'all, um, Y'all stay locked in. Um, y'all, if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. I bet we know a video with you folks. Sorry for the noise and everything I'm out and about. I just want to control that prediction video and everything and uh, keeping y'all focused and locked in, man. But anyway, I'm out here, folks. Y'all have a blessed one. Stay focused and uh, peace, world. Y'all stay, stay blessed.